This is Mark. Hey, Mark, it's Kaz calling from Hit 105 in Brisbane, Australia. How are you? I am well. How are you? <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. I was just testing the line. Um, we're not far off now. We're just about to go into the song, so it's up to you. Would you mind hanging on the line um, for about five minutes? Or would you like sure. To give you a Why not? You sure you don't mind? Yeah, no, okay. I don't mind. All right, no worries. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Hang there. Yep. I'll cross to you about um, a minute or so before the guys take your call. Okay. And also, thank you so much for your email too. I received that um, and I've got it all on their prep sheets. They're all across it. Thank you so much. Okay. fantastic. Yep. (laughs) Thank you, Mark. All right, see ya. Uh, Here's something for you. Mm -hmm. The world is flat. Cool. The world is flat. Have you got something to say about that statement? We have a guy on the line who does believe that. It is up to you to change his mind. We're going to do it after the freestylers. Push up. Hit 105. All right, Mark. Um, so the guys are going to chat with you next. You'll be speaking with Stab. That's spelled S-T-A-V. Abby and Matt. Stab's, and Matt. Stab's the yeah, one with the glasses. Nice. Correct. Yeah, right. you've done your research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be mistaken with uh, STAB, um, which he often does. So. Got it, got it. Jam, Abby and Matt, Hit 105 Brisbane. Um, and as I said to you yesterday, so they're going to set up the break. They'll have a chat to you um, next for sort of um, four to five minutes max. Okay. Um, just about your beliefs, why you um, think the flat earth is, or well, the earth is flat, um, the research and knowledge that you have behind it, what your... Um, theories and evidence are sure. and then we'll go into taking calls next um, so we'll have to sit through just a small ad break before we take calls and people will be um, either agreeing with you or challenging you and it's up to you to sort of give them enough evidence where you can change their mind or maybe they can do the opposite got it <laughs> but, got um, it we're very much looking forward to the chat i'll pop you through and it won't be long it'll be about 30 seconds before they take your call all right thank you thank you mark <laughs> just checking what was your location Again, I know you're oh, uh, Los Angeles. Seattle. Seattle. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay. All right, hang there for us. Not too long. Thanks so much. All right. Mark. Bit of old school on the air at 13 past seven with the freestylers. Hit 105 at Stab Abbey Matt. We're giving away a house and land package. All thanks to Villa World. Today's the day that you could get on standby. Make sure your name's in the running. Register here105.com.au. You might change your mind. Change my mind. Change my mind. There's people out there with strong opinions, and it's just because no one else, well, maybe they haven't been challenged. They haven't learned about it from a different perspective, or they've heard about it and just gone, la 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 la. <laughs> now, today, we are joined by someone who has a strong view. His name is Mark Sargent from Seattle. Mark, what do you believe? I believe the earth is flat 100%. How's that? Okay, so we're going to dig into this in just a second, but if you disagree with Mark and you want to change his mind, 131060 is our number. Um, tell us why you believe our Earth is not round like most people. Got it. Uh, five quick points. One would be gravity versus the atmosphere of uh, the, the vacuum of space, meaning where is the bleeding of edge of space? Where does our atmosphere end and the vacuum begin? There is no bleeding edge. Second would be long distance photography. Uh, boats going over the horizon. Yeah, 10 years ago, I would have said they've gone over the horizon. Now with HD technology, you could pull them back into frame at almost every distance up until 150 miles. That's not possible. Three would be the eclipse shadow. It's absolutely the wrong side. If the moon is 2,000 miles wide, why is the eclipse blackouts only 70 miles wide? It's way too small. It's 97% decrease. We don't never see that down here on the ground. Fourth would be the moon temperature, which is the moonlight is actually colder than the moon shade, which is the opposite of the sun, which is warmer than the sun shade. Five would be the Van Allen radiation belts, which is if the Van Allen radiation belts, are they deadly or not? If they are deadly, then how did Apollo and the Americans make it through round trips? Nobody died. Nobody got radiation poisoning. Nobody even got cancer. And if they are if they are dead if they aren't deadly, then how did uh, uh, why is there a video on the NASA website that says Orion trial by fire that says they're so deadly they can't even test capsules because they haven't solved the radiation problem? There you go, mm. five five quick ones. What, what about photos of Earth that have been taken from outer space? Everything don't believe anything that you see up there. Everything is a composite. Everything has been photoshopped, and all the movies are just CGI uh, and have been for a very very long time. If that, my, my question would be, if the Earth is flat, mm-hmm. why are they telling us it's not? 
Uh, power and control. No, no, I mean, remember, because when they found it out, it was about 1960, the United States and the Soviet Union, when they were doing uh, expeditions out in Antarctica. And it's, look, there's too many things that would be uh, turned upside down, uh, so to speak. Uh, academics, you would have to retool just about every physical science, geology, hydrology, biology. Take your pick. They would all have to be retooled. Uh, and plus, astrophysics and astronomy have to be shut down. Economically, the world markets would have to be suspended for several months. And religiously, the five major religious houses, um, Hinduism, Judaism, Buddhism, Islam and Christianity, they would all have leverage against science. That's three huge reasons why you would not ever, ever want to do this if you are the ones that are controlling the world. So... Uh, you believe, uh, the flat earthers believe there's a big, thick ring of ice around. That's why the water doesn't just pour off the edge. Yeah, so you're, you're... Does you're... that mean... Go ahead. With global warming, once all that ice melts, we're just going to have land galore? Uh, it would, it, would it, 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 yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Climate change, in my opinion, is a real thing, and there would be a real problem out there. Because you're living in a giant building with walls and a floor and a ceiling... In a dome covering us uh, and yeah the antarctic coastline which is part of a massive massive continent that rings around us yeah there there would be some problems with the ocean levels no question all right not a big fan of nasa are you mark uh hey i used to be a nasa fan look i'm in america go raw team wave the flag but uh <laughs> yeah. the, but the, the the apollo program has not aged well over the last 50 60 years at all okay. uh so Okay, well, uh, look, we're not here to judge what you believe. That's, that's fine. We always have people on our show who we may agree or disagree with, but the job right now of our people listening is to call 131060 and to see if they can change your mind. You've right. got a very strong opinion. Mm -hmm. Can you get Mark, who believes the Earth is flat, to believe that it is round? Uh, go up against him. 131060. We'll get you on next here at Hit 105. Hit 105. <laughs> Travelling overseas? Free. Now open at Brisbane Airport for amazing deals on the world's best brands. A bit of metal debris spotted on the M1 northbound heading through Yatla. Ipswich Motorway busy from Dara to Oxley. Centenary Highway coming. Hey Mark, thank you so much. That's great. So we'll just be going into um, some ad breaks here in a song. So it'll be about um, six minute wait. Do you okay. mind waiting? Oh no, no, that's fine. How, how, many, how, many calls yeah? you, how many calls do you think we'll take? Um, I think we're going to, the, well, the um, calls have lit up on our, oh, um, no shock. On our yeah. phone box at the, at the moment here. So I'll let you know um, as we finalize that, okay. um, sort of what angle they're going with. All right. Just so you're prepped. Sounds good. Oh, thank you. Com.au. Chopper Day. Back soon on Hit 105. Carrie Bickmore and Tommy Little. We are in a young Brisbane C105, Stab Abbey and Matt. Morning on the F of the Brisbane Cycling Festival. Let's hit town. Check out Queen Street Mall and South Bank for all the festival activities and BrisbaneCyclingFestival.com for festival info and to get involved. You might change your mind. Change my mind. Change my mind. You get to have the opportunity to change the mind of someone who has a strong opinion and today it is Mark Sargent from Seattle who believes that the earth is flat. Change his mind. Call 13 10 60 and give a different point of view. Are you ready, Mark? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm sure you've never had a conversation like this before, have you? Uh, well, no, no, no. Well, yeah, I have, actually. People have been working on me for a while, but go ahead. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We've got Clint from Birkdale. You're on the uh, air with Mark. Uh, what do you think? Change his mind. Um, yeah, like, how, how you promote the, the world's flat, like, that's got an end. Like, in my mind, the world is spherical. There's no beginning, there is no end. You can just keep going around and around and around and around until you won't find an end. Right. Now, if you're saying that the world's flat, yeah. where's the end? Where's the beginning? Where's the end? The end would be the outer walls. So there would be a ceiling on this thing. Again, it's like a building with a floor and a ceiling. And the outer walls would be thousands of miles. I can see that you just there's an outer wall at the poles. Fair enough. Okay. There's an outer wall at the poles. Yes. Where's the outer wall in the middle, mate? The, there is no outer wall in the middle. It's the North Pole. So you're, you're what we're talking what we're talking about is a dinner plate where the North Pole is at the center. So everything else pretty much looks the same except for Antarctica. All the continents pretty much are laid out the same. So you'd it, it's imagine it like uh, where Truman lives in the Truman. Exactly, show, exactly like the Truman, only much, much bigger. The Truman Show, I think, was about twenty miles wide. This thing would be about twenty thousand miles wide. Do people fall off? No, how can they fall off? They uh, remember so we're the we're talking wall, to, like in Game of Thrones. No, 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 no. It's not like Game of Thrones. Uh, the <laughs> the Antarctic coastline is actually much shorter than Game of Thrones, which is interesting because that debuts this weekend. 
yeah. it's uh, the Antarctic coastline starts about 200 feet of ice, pretty much straight up, and then plateaus at about 14,000 feet. Okay. And so, no, it's you're basically talking about a lake, a big saltwater lake in the middle of a building. So nobody's falling off, water's not running off. Right. It's not like. Asgard. Right. Okay. Nathan, you're on the air with Mark, who believes the Earth is flat. Try and change his mind. How you going, guys? Um, all right, my question is, I, we're in central Queensland in Australia. If you get in the boat and sail and go out right, you can make your way right around and we can end up in WA in Australia. Mm -hmm. Please tell me how the Earth is not flat if we can sail right around it. And don't say that there's a wall from Antarctica to the Arctic because if you go one way, that's got to be circular, and you can't go the other way, which is flat. So it doesn't make sense. Got got it. So you you want to know how you would circumnavigate a flat world? Is that the short version? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. So no, no, it's it's okay. I remember the compass is going to work pretty much the same. So the North Pole would be the magnetic center, and then if you moved your finger around a dinner plate, which is round, you technically circumnavigated it. Does that make the dinner plate a ball? No, it doesn't. Remember, round can also be two-dimensional, and that's what we're kind of saying here. I think if you, Mark, have almost changed Stav's mind He's got in the dinner plate, he's doing his hand going all through. Oh, boy! That makes sense. That does make sense. <laughs> in Burp and Gary, you're on with Mark, who believes that the, flat, uh, the Earth is flat. See if you could change his mind. Hey, I just want to know if is is Earth the only flat planet, or are the other planets all flat as well? Like, Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, who told you there were other planets? Uh, the same people that said the Americans went to the moon? What we're saying is that it's much worse than that to steal from Mission Impossible, uh, which is the everything you see up in the sky, the uh, the planets and the stars, they're just pretty, pretty lights, and the sun and the moon are just much bigger lights. The sun would be an incandescent light bulb, and the moon would be an LED night light, and they're much, much smaller and much, much closer. Right. Answers for everything. Let's get Carl on from the sunny coast. See if he can change Mark's mind. How are you, Mark? I am well. How are you? Can you yeah, turn your radio okay. down, Carl? <laughs> yeah, yep. So, um, in uh, 2012, there was an uh, Austrian professional skydiver, um, and Red Bull took him about 39 kilometers um, into the, the stratosphere, just above New Mexico. Right. Um, and you can actually see on the, the video, viewed by millions and millions around the world, right. um, you can actually see the curve, curvature of the, the Earth. Right. Um, I just want to, to ask you, Mark, how is that possible? You know, is yep, yep, Red yep. Bull but I've, working I've... with NASA and... and no, I got, I got I you. Are you, video, but... are, are you talking about the, the Red Bull jump by Felix Bumgardner? Yes. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. please. Yeah. That that GoPro lens. Look, if you believe, because remember, he was only, and I'm, I'm sorry, I won't be able to do the conversion for you guys because I'm up in America, but he was at 100, yeah. 120,000 feet. That is not that far. And yet the curvature made it look like he was supposedly hundreds of miles up. Uh, if the curvature at 125,000 feet, if that curvature was actual, then the entire world would only be about 100 miles wide. So no, GoPro lenses have a built-in fisheye lens, and if you guys don't know what a fisheye lens is, it's, it's the same thing you do, you put in a peephole in a door. When you look out the peephole yeah. in a door, you know that your hallway is straight, but the peephole makes it look very, very curved. There you go. So in short, yes, Red Bull and NASA are one and the same? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm saying that Red Bull, oh, no, no, Red Bull and NASA are absolutely not one and the same, yeah. but Red Bull, when they released the photos, they wanted to make it seem more dramatic. It's way more dramatic if you make right. it look like he's yeah. farther up. Okay. Okay, well, Fabio from New Farm, our first legitimate Fabio call, which is exciting, uh, <laughs> change, cha change Mark's mind. So when you look out at the planet when, on your flat surface, right. how do we have night and day and seasons if there are two light bulbs surrounding and circling? Because if they were going over a flat planet, you'd be able to see the sun and the, over the horizon the entire time at night. If, it yeah, wouldn't work as a flat well, surface. I gotcha. If, and that would be the case if the sun and the moon were very, very big. Uh, and we're talking about... We're saying that the sun and the moon are only about 50 miles wide and approximately the same size. Uh, something that small on, an ob on a surface that's 20,000 miles wide is super, super tiny. And we've g built physical models with pinpoint lights. And they absolutely will go away, just go off into the distance, and you won't see them. And as far as the seasons go, I think you, you threw that in there. Uh, the lights also don't move on the same track every time. It's sort of like a needle. I know that sort of dates me. A needle on a record player. The longer it plays, the, the closer it goes to the center. So the sun and the moon are moving on those sort of tracks. Right. All right. 
then how does that explain the moving stars at the same time, the oscillation of the Earth, the obliquity of the Earth, the tides of the Earth, they're affected by the moon? Oh, boy. Because none too, of that too, adds too, up too, to them. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Too many questions. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the stars, again, would be just the display system in the sky. The moon tying in with the tides. I'll, let's throw in that one because I don't know if we have time for the other one. Uh, right. the, now, you know what, Mark? I, uh, sorry to cut you off, I'm buddy. pretty sure we changed your mind, though, yeah, Mark. we're just <laughs> convinced by that. <laughs> we are out of time, mate, oh. and I do appreciate you, uh, you, you. You took on all those questions really, really well, so well, thank we appreciate you. you coming on this morning. Thank you. Uh, and uh, we haven't changed your mind, though, but thanks for your call. Thank you very much for having me, guys. Good Thanks, on you. Mark. Sorry Appreciate we couldn't it. get to everyone. Our phones have lit up. <laughs> you realise it's very, uh, very intense with guys calling. Yes, yes. <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt at Hit105. Get down to Queen Street Mall and check out the Brisbane Cycling Festival's BMX Halfpipe and see world champion and future Olympian Logan Martin in action. Hit105. <laughs> Travelling overseas? Latte duty free. Now open at Brisbane Airport for amazing deals on the world. Mark, thank you so much. <laughs> so much for coming on this morning. I'm sorry it was so hectic. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I, I you on our calls before um, you went to air. Honestly, our phones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're very experienced in I've, yeah. from other producers with the same thing. Uh, our phone lines are we've, about to melt down our system, I think. So oh, yeah, yeah. I've had... I wanted had... to let you know, too. We had a lot of support as well um, that we weren't even, we didn't get a chance to put through. We had this one woman call up and she was so happy to hear that you were on air. Oh. Um, she totally agrees with you. She said, thank you so much for oh, um, that's awesome. doing what you do. And she's like, you know, we're all, we're all sheep. I agree with it. It's like this room and show. So, yeah. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I think it's awesome what you're doing. And I've got a completely open mind. So I know not many people are like that, but um, I think it's awesome. You know, well, thank you. Thank have you. freedom of speech and say what you want. Yeah. If you need anything else, if you need any other resources, if you ever want to talk to anybody else, let me know. I'm pretty much wired in. I would love that. Thank you so much. And I'll make sure um, I send you a copy um, after we've wrapped up the show this morning, okay? S sounds good. Thank you very much. Awesome. Talk soon. Thanks, Mark. Okay. Bye-bye.